Hey guys, this is Lava Thorn. Welcome back to Lava Craft Season 2. Oh, I almost hit that block. I'm getting better. I went to the doctor finally. Turned out I had chronic bronchitis. And I'm getting all better, so I should be able to get back on the wagon with some of my videos. Anyways, though, this episode we got a lot to do. We've been hunting for hummer trim, so I'll show a little bit of that. Then we're also going to build a creeper farm. And Milo's joining, so we should be able to have some fun with him. So let's get into it. Woo! Okay, guys, I'm out exploring. And I noticed this thing which looks like a structure and it, I think it's I think it's a pyramid isn't it oh yeah here's the top that's crazy it's like completely buried okay well I've been wanting one because I really want to get some oh here I suspicious sand I want to get uh the template I'm trying to get collect everything you know but let's go down to the secret room first and see what we can find down here uh oh uh oh uh oh that's not good well that set off the pressure plate I don't think so. Okay, good. <laughs> Whew! Let's get rid of this TNT. This thing always scares me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Got that good. Uh, nothing good. Ooh, I'll take all of that. Uh, nope. <laughs> Actually, that'll be funny. Okay, nothing. I mean, we got a couple diamonds. A book, you know. I'll take. I'll put it in my shop. It's something. Uh, but the suspicious sand now, we gotta dig that out, which I should have. Yeah, let me. Here we go, here's my brush. They pull out one of these, and we can drop this down. In case you guys don't know, when they did the archaeology update and all that, they added a whole nother room to the the desert temples. It's There's not much in there, it's just for suspicious sand and stuff, but it's kind of neat. So the. And that's where you need to get the, the desert template. Or maybe you can get them in the chest too. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'm going to explore this out. And it's just to so see you look for the sand over here. And you just try and clear it out as much as you can without breaking that sand. Okay guys. I have the room all the way unlocked. This is what it looks like. You just clear it out. And then there should be some stairs here. You might have to clear a couple of these blocks like this. Um, but... Pretty much everything else is just straight up sand and a couple pieces of sus sand. We got some pottery shards, a couple we don't have, a couple diamonds, but no template. I think the template is actually in the the bottom spot chest, which we didn't get any. But I mean, we got like four diamonds, so that's pretty good. We'll have to wait until we unlock another temple. There's a couple more, but we've had kind of bad luck, nothing being close in. If you see my cords, I'm really far out, but... Uh, I'm going to get off and go talk to Shad and Chicken and continue exploring. Heaven just got on, and I don't have her head for my headroom. And we're going to go over and see if we can lure her in the wilds and kill her. Okay, don't you guys spoil this. You zip your mouth shut. Is it? Where are you, Lava? Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> it's gonna be alright. It's a spicy really meatball. Oh, I gotta act quick because she doesn't stay on long. She has a. Hey, Heaven! Hello. Hi, I wanna show you something. Where are you? Hello. I'm at my base. I'm there too. Here, here I gotta show you something on my wall. You said that very creepily. Shad was helping me on I'm some some dirt designs, and I want your opinions because you're really good at decoration. I've literally been waiting like two days for you to get on for me to, to ask you this. <laughs> when your neighbor doesn't come home. Okay, come here. Why are you in iron armor? Because I'm saving my um. He's saving himself. Armor. I'm saving my diamond armor for... Intro. Okay, so Shad was having me do some... What is it? It's not Podzol. It's the coarse dirt. Coarse dirt. And then specs yeah. of Podzol. And he was saying I should add gravel in too, but I think gravel's a little bit too, mm -hmm. like, rough and bright. Um, it's good for the main entrance. I don't know, but... And, or maybe... Gravel's maybe... better for stone paths. Yeah, so I got this. Like, I got it. Here, let me get over this hole. Watch out for holes. Um, Nick has some holes he keeps unlocking around here. This is what I got. What do you think? 
It looks really good. Chicken, why are you attacking me? I'm a one and a half. Oh, oh heaven, get back here. I want to fight you. <laughs> I'm trying to give you advice. <laughs> I know, but I need your head. Come here. Chicken, why did you ruin that? <laughs> hey, I need your gear. <laughs> I need your gear. <laughs> uh oh, she's gonna kill me. Heaven, heaven, if if heaven, if you kill him, can I have some of his gear? No. Okay. It's good practice for the PvP thing. Except it's more. Are real. you really gonna run away? Except you're in a different bracket. Oh, I can't fly. There we go. Not flying away. Thanks for the arrows. You're welcome. Oh, is that get rid of one hit? <laughs> Bippity boppity boo, baby. Can I, can I have my stuff back? <laughs> Come get it. I'm fighting someone else. Why'd you even shoot me? Because you attacked me when I told you to be quiet and not ruin this. <laughs> what do you mean, why I did I shoot you? I needed gear. I needed gear. And, 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 I, and I promised, and me and Heaven are allies. So. Ah. I don't, I don't want to ruin the ally stuff. I think I actually buried. don't have food, so oh. I won't be back. <laughs> okay, well, you, what can I do a trade for your head at least? <laughs> no. And yeah, we uh we failed our attempt. Chicken kind of got in the way with him and his iron armor. So we'll have to figure out another way to uh kill heaven. If you guys have suggestions on a trapper or get her, let me know. The biggest thing is I have to physically kill her. It has to say killed by Lava Thor is the big thing, so yeah. Hi Milo, how are you? <laughs> I'm I'm here. Can you uh, show me to the Nether? No. Hi. Okay. No, I'm, oh! just I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How dare! There you. <clears throat> All right. What he doesn't know I'm is here. that I need the, the to Nether get some quartz. A, well, he knows this. He should know. Quartz. I need them. Quartz. Quite, Milo, I'm talking to myself. Is uh, of course. Ah, it's it's a wild air. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. I was just talking to chat real quick. I need. Don't betray me, please. Don't betray me. <laughs> Your silence really is killing me. <laughs> you remember that the the Nether is is wilds, and I can kill you and steal your stuff. Right? Yes, that's why I said don't betray me. I what? need my. I need some quartz. That's what I. Hey, 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 hey. No I bueno. Quartz right here. Oh, I need that. <laughs> you jerk! Oh my gosh! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! No! I want to kill you so bad, you have no idea. I am, I am poor. When's there's the last no, time you there's... slept? Where'd you sleep? Did you sleep in that bed I told you to sleep in? No, I slept in my bed. <laughs> don't you, don't you do it, please! <laughs> I need, I need to collect gotta, materials. I didn't know you have a tail. <laughs> Just don't touch you me. You have a cool little white tail. Look at your cool white tail you got. <laughs> No, please don't touch me. I don't want to be touched. I don't consent. You know what? No. I think you should uh, pay me for protecting you. Have a wide... you. Protecting damn. you in the nether. Protecting. Protecting. You're the one that's mostly damaging me. You want some protection or not? I don't have anything to give you. Well, I, I guess have no, no protection then. I, I have no diamonds on me at all. I can't even afford one of your books. It's you know what, so expensive. You know what it means when there's no protection? It means stuff kills you. 
like with with like a, an axe or a bow or a piece of bread. Listen, 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 listen. listen. I mean, you know, please. but like, I'll, I'll, I'll my my price. Is let like me cheap. just let me just like let me just. I just I I need this. Okay, I need I need. Uh, I, no! <laughs> Come on, pay me for my protection. I, I don't. Uh, um, here, here, I got you some bread. Uh, Actually, I will take that. I'm low on food. <laughs> Pew! Pew! Please, don't you dare. Oh, sorry, sorry, <gasps> sorry, sorry! Oh my gosh! Do I have to give the bread back? Yeah, we end up killing him like three or four times, and he kind of hates us now. So, we ought to do something to make it up to Milo, or maybe play some more pranks. We got to bring back the rabbit prank from last year somehow. Um, but, you know, we got a few more heads to try and collect here. And I think it's going to get kind of hard for some of these. We're at the point that we really need to, like, get our game up either with traps or upgrade our gear. And But before I upgrade most of my gear to netherite, I want to get all the armor trims. And I'm missing just a couple. Here is my uh, trophy room. And here I got the armor trims. I am missing, I forget what they're called, but it's the the, out, the Pilger Outpost one, which I've searched about five of those. Me and Chad were searching them, couldn't find one. There's a Desert Temple, which I already showed you the one. And then we are also missing the Fortress Rib one, which we just got to go look for that. But we got all the other ones. I did a little bit exploring and some stuff. I'm going to just show a little bit of that because most of it just was hours and hours of just exploring and figuring out. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> Good thing that hole was there, otherwise I'd be dead. <laughs> Ooh, a saddle. That's kind of neat. Okay, I'm going to the... Ah! Shit. Dude, they came out of nowhere like the FBI. Like, three of them just rushed at me. Oh, these guys can't get to me. You're all screwed. Aha! It's like shooting hoglins in a barrel. I mean, I think Sprite is in a battle what better than that but go. guess who got a pig piglin brute's head yeah okay. i think i have one but i think i died with it neon gave me a compliment <laughs> no that was a very sarcastic compliment uh, my mama, you know, he's like better. nice <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> He's like, I'm just done with you. <laughs> I don't even need to say a word to make you guys laugh. <laughs> oh, I got another right upgrade. It's not what I want, but I'll take it. Where's this hey, why, your life about why, are you, why are you flying in your own blood? I know, right? Why are there... You know what? I was hunting gas for so long, and now why is it there's gas everywhere? Okay, let's find a spot to land. Make it... A goth. Probably. I thought Goth spawning and instantly entering a portal. Oh, I think he was working on something, yeah. Don't land in lava, don't land in lava, don't land in the lava! I said don't land in it! You fool! <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I'm just on fire. I'm on fire. <laughs> Okay. You're not on lava? <laughs> I'm not on lava, I'm on fire. I was in myself, but now I'm on fire. Oh, I think it's right over here. Is this it? This kind of looks like a bastion. Oh! Oh, drink the fire resist! Drink the fire resist! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, there goes my fire resist. <laughs> Why is the nether so scary, Mojang? <laughs> oh, there's the bastion. How many templates you got? Uh, eight. Uh, going that was nice. Funny enough, I just had to take it for Oh, brute! Stay away, brute! Oh gosh, you got me half down. Scary little bugger. Hi. Oh, you're a brute too. Ahead. Uh, yes please? Nothing good. Ooh, this one kind of goes in the ceiling a little bit. Okay. Ouch! They're shooting me from here. 
Ouch, ouch. Oh, it's a skeleton, never mind. Get this on, though. And he had no chance. Oh my gosh. Was that it? Was that it? About time. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's... Let's get these suckers in here. We did it, guys. We got it. Let's get out of here before we die. We made it through the Bastion in the Nether, and I'm just so glad I'm to be in the Nether right now. And that's why I haven't done the, the rib one. It's because I don't really want to go back to the Nether. It's the worst. And we've just been lucky that the outposts and the, the desert temples, the one, we've searched a few, and we got to expand the border for more. But let's take a break from those. Let's go build something. We haven't built much. And my I, what I want to build is because I'm getting low on gunpowder is a gunpowder farm. Okay, guys, we are going to dig out a big hole, and we're going to make a little gunpowder farm in it, a new design using snow golems. It's going to be super fun. But here I have four little dirt pillars. Got one here, one over there. You can see the one hipping over there, and there should be one over there. Yeah. Uh, we're going to kind of keep the level. Like, we're going to dig out this whole area, but we're going to put the surface back up once we're done. We have to like delete our sugarcane farm. This will just be floating. We'll we'll terraform this once we're done, fix it back up. But for now, we're gonna dig it out and then kind of like a couple layers underneath. We're gonna put the gunpowder farm. But let's go and dig it out first. A good old digging time lapse. I don't know how far down I'm gonna go. Probably until my pickaxe breaks or until I get bored. So let's go and get into it. Woo! Oh guys, I got a big hole. Um, yeah, I, I went ahead and just uh, cleaned it up so it's all stone except for dirt on the top and just made it look a little nicer. It's 10 high, which is how much I need it to be, which does mean that the sides kind of overlap a little bit. But, but I'm going to terraform that. I wanted to terraform the island a little bit more anyways to extend it out. That helps me out there. I need to go back and fix this stuff up later. That's, that's not a big deal though. I, that's easy to do. I got much of stone and cobble from it, but now we got to build the actual machine. But before I do that, I got to say, I should have gotten a beacon. <laughs> the beacon would have made this so much easier. One of my pickaxes actually was about to break halfway through, so I switched to my other one. That was about to break. And I was doing a time lapse, so I didn't want to break it up or cut it up. So I just asked Rogue, who instantly got on, like, go repair one of my pickaxes quickly. So you guys probably saw that. Uh, he upgraded to netherite. What a chad. Thank you, Rogue. But now we're going to build the actual machine here, um, or creeper farm thingy. Uh, it's a design by Voltrox. I'll put his link in the description. A uh, big thanks to him for making such a cool little farm and with a different system. Uses snow golems. So here's all the stone. I only need probably about half this stone. And then here's a bunch of other stuff. It's just going to be a single layer one, which I think will work just fine. But if we want to extend up or even down, we can. I want mine to be covered. You, It's better to build like over the ocean or something. And then like build a little cloud thing. 
But I want mine to be covered, so I'm building. That's why I wanted to dig down, and then I'm going to cover it up. And it'll still work. It won't be as efficient. I might have to go around and clear out some of these caves and stuff. But the idea is that as I'm walking around, it'll be doing stuff. But let's go ahead and uh, do our second time lapse and get building. Okay, it's all done. It's uh, way down there. And I went ahead and built this little cloud up here and sit on it. It's 120 blocks away or whatever. So if we free cam all the way down into it, we can see that it should be spawning creepers and nothing else really. Um, there are a lot of caves around, so some of those might have stuff in it, but anything below it shouldn't be spawning. But as we can see, there are creepers in it. And basically, the way I see it works is the snow golems hit the creepers. The creepers come running towards the snow golems to kill them. And uh, instead, they fall down and die. Uh, the moss carpets are to prevent spiders. The trapdoors are to prevent skellies and zombies. I think the only other thing that can spawn in here is maybe bats. But I don't think bats can... S I think bats might be able to spawn on these spots. But I think the, the lava should cancel that out. The, the campfires. But yeah, it's working. It's working effectively. I mean, if I just set up here, I'll get a lot. I don't think I need more than one layer. I think one layer with this AFK spot, my little cloud spot up there, I think should be just fine. I think this is going to work. Yeah. I uh, I do have to cover it up still. Look at that. That, that looks horrible. But I want to squish this side in once. I'll fill that in. And then maybe squish this side in too. So fill in that. Fill these these two gaps on the sides. I think that would make it look a little bit better. Maybe maybe make it all flush like that so it's one on top. Yeah. So this one two. This one one. No two as well. And then this one one. That way it sits on top. I'll cover it up. And then I'll even do some terraforming or something to make it look nicer. And I could put like a garden or something back here too. I got to make an entrance to get down here to get to this stuff but other than that it's it's good to go okay it's a couple days later and holy crap this is the greatest creeper farm ever in existence i don't know about that but um it had i, I cleaned it up a bit i still got work to do but i afk'd at this thing for maybe like 20 minutes and i've been doing a lot of flying but i got this many rockets already and i still have like look at all this freaking gunpowder and that was like not even a half an hour uh, I do get an occasional spider in there, but I, I have so much gunpowder, so much. If I have can't this thing for a couple hours, these will be full. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The guy that made it says it's 1900 per hour if you have everything perfectly right. I'm going to AFK at this thing for like an hour or two, and this thing's going to be full, and I'll never need gunpowder ever again. It is ridiculous. Okay, but we are done with it. We need to terraform it. We'll do that later, um, probably before next episode. One thing is um i uh i was over with milo hanging out with him probably like killing him as he's, he keeps getting mad at me and it's funny and i found out a cool thing a new wizard power yep i got a new wizard power i'll show you guys guys we just made a huge discovery on why being a frost wizard is even better than being a normal stupid little cat man <laughs> oh, uh, i'm over here with rogue and i'm just chilling uh, me. and i mean i mean milo rogue. i'm <clears throat> i'm over here with milo and we're chilling and i just hop up on here and Milo's like, oh, that's cool. And he hops on and he's like burning himself. And he's like, well, I'll hop on and I'll crouch. So hop back up on a crouch, Milo, with full armor. Put your full armor on a crouch. And he's still dying like a big old pleb. Get out of here. And I'm like, well, what's killing me? So I'm like, well, maybe I'm in creative mode or I hacked or something. And see, now I'm not taking damage. So I put on just my boots that have Frostwalker on them. And yeah. Frostwalker wizards are the best wizards because soul. I Do you have to stay crouched? No. <laughs> no. It's just instinctual. Do you have a regular campfire, M Milo? Can you put a regular campfire um, down? Can you make uh, one? Let me go get one. I want to know I if that works too. I think it probably does. 
That'd be crazy. That's wild. That's wild. Frostwalker. I keep finding new things about Frostwalker. I didn't know. Oh my gosh! It's because they keep my feet feet cold. Dancing, 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 dancing. Ow! Yep, so touch. <laughs> dancing, dancing. Give that one back. I have um Alakazam. Alakazam. There you go. <laughs> Being a wizard is the best. Wizard boots. Can I wizard moon dance? Got all the smoke though. Yeah, Frostwalker makes it so if you stand on campfire, does it work with regular fire? We gotta test this further. Experiment time. You have, a, you know what? I have a flint and steel. I don't think it does for flint and steel. I got flint and steel. Nope, nope, doesn't nope. work. It burns nope, your body. Yep, yep. But I guess just your feet. I don't have. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's just campfire is work. <laughs> That's so amazing. Oh, do you have a magma block? Uh, no, I do not. Mm. Do you have? You know, I don't know. But yeah, being a frost yeah. frost wizard is amazing. But yeah, that was fun hanging out with Milo. Hopefully he doesn't uh, hate me too much for killing him all those times. Uh, he's getting a lot of stuff done. We're going to terraform the creeper farm probably in between episodes. Uh, I'm going to try and work on, for the next episode, a, a copper farm using drowned. But it might not happen. Uh, in about a week, I go on a trip, a business trip for my real life job because this doesn't make me any money. Not yet. Like and subscribe so I can get there maybe. But I got a real life job and I'm going to uh, an expo for about a week and I'll be gone for that. So I, if I don't get an episode out before then, it'll be a few weeks till I get one out. But I'm not gone. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not dead. I'll just be back in a few weeks and yeah. Uh, but I'll try and get one out beforehand, but we'll see if it happens. But for now, uh, I will see you guys later. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, you guys have a great one. Woo!